it's, it's amazing. Yeah, about um, so between five and twenty or more, we don't really know. So you were, you guys were arrested last time. Why again? Well, the actual arrest was because we didn't give them our name, and they only asked once. We're like, well, you're not accusing us of crimes, so I'd rather not give it. Um, and that led to other things, them arguing with the content of our sign, but not ever telling us to take it down, or they never even told us to leave. Um, eventually they got upset because we were filming them with our smartphones, and that led to the arrest. But the actual charges ended up being putting up the sign, but that law refers to advertisements. And they also charge us with wearing masks, but that only refers to if you're already committing a crime in the first place. So both those charges got dropped, and because they had nothing else, they decided to charge us with delaying an officer because we refused to answer him the one time he asked. And so are you guys facing jail time, or what's happening now with the case? Um, the case was resolved, and we were sentenced uh, on the 19th, so just about a week ago. And um, so we got really the most lenient sentence possible, which is a six-month summary probation, which is real lenient. They just they say, don't break any laws, whatever all the laws are, who knows, no one knows. Um, and we paid a $190 fine for each of us, um, which is a minimum court fee. So in terms of that, we got away pretty cleanly. So why are you out here again? Well, now that we've resolved our court case, we want to get back into doing activism because thats it's a thing we were doing up until we were arrested and we haven't been doing it the entire year. So because of the court stuff, we've been chilled in our free speech and we're really itching to get back out now that it's been resolved. And we're going to play it more carefully. We're going to be real cooperative. We're going to say our names immediately. Um, we're treating this county particularly as a police state. Um, because it apparently is. So tell me what your message is today, what, what you're hoping to uh, relate today. Um, today our message is basically the same as it was a year ago. Um, our sign is, it's a new sign that says the same thing, taxes equal theft. Um, you might disagree that it, rather, you might think it's necessary for taxes, um, but you have to see it for what it is. It's forcefully taking money from other people. And so our general purpose is to get people to think that when you support a particular movement um, in government to pay for something, you're taking money forcefully from your neighbors. And you should really think about if it's something you're willing to essentially point a gun at your neighbor's head to take their money to pay for. Um, are you going to be, um, is it going to be over the open again? Yeah, just over there, um, in the same place. We have a slightly different setup to remain within the law as best we can, so there's no misconceptions about it. But uh, basically the same place, same thing. But police tried to get you for, you know, putting a sign over the overpass and you're doing it again. Well, we had established through our court proceedings that it was legal, and that's why they dropped the charge. So we're just going to continue with our legal activity. Do you feel at all that it might be enticing the police to come out here again? I do feel that a little bit. We uh, did notify them to let them know so they wouldn't be surprised about it, so they would know what we're doing. Um, but hopefully they come out and say, okay, you're not hurting anything, you're not doing anything wrong, so carry on. And then one last question for you. The fact that you had the sentencing and you're on 1640, what do you think about the sentencing? Um, I, I feel it's, well, it's the most lenient thing possible, so I'm pleased with that. What do you think about your arrest? Um, I think that escalated when it clearly shouldn't have, and so that was rather disappointing. And even carrying that further, the officers make an arrest because they think something's against the law, that's fine. But then it gets up in the process to the district attorney who looks at it and goes, oh yeah, we need to prosecute those guys. That's where I think it, they should have dismissed it. But they, for some reason, kept it going for a year trying to put us in jail, essentially. That's where I'm disappointed.